Hey, hey, everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Fast Talk, the fast food review show where I talk about fast food, talking faster about it as a whole uh, Belgian. Excuse me. I finally was able to acquire the latest Mountain Dew flavor, and that is Mountain Dew Purple Thunder. Now, this actually came pretty quickly out of a Circle K exclusive. Uh, the other one is the One Shot Girl Strawberry Slushy G Fuel. That'll be coming when they actually have it. All the other G Fuels that they have there, like main ones, the Sonic, Beauty Pie, and there's another one, Tetris, I think. I'm not sure we're slushy. Still waiting for it. It's coming. But, yeah. I'm excited to try this one. Uh, this one was even interesting to me. Because what are the grape flavors are there? It's pitch black. And that's why everyone's like, oh, it's just repackaged pitch black. But I actually reviewed the Malaysian version of pitch black, and you can clearly tell there is a color difference. Some more um, voltage, not color, but like where it's got this nice transparency to it. Um, but I'm really excited to try it. So let's go ahead and taste it. Now it's interesting that they picked purple and not like a red, but also a lot of gas stations red. Thornton Speedway, Casey's all red. So I think they also picked a distinctive color pop. Maybe they do real well. There's nice signage above the door. That's all stuff. That's actually really neat signage. Speaking of signage, much better. When you're doing something, you better wear a shirt that's themed. Uh, I learned that from the caffeine man. Go check out his videos. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and taste. Let's, like I said, let's go ahead and taste. Do you really want to, do you really want to taste it? Uh, ingredients wise, we have carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, natural and artificial flavor, sodium benzoic to preserve the freshness, caffeine, sodium citrate, gum, arabic, calcium to sodium, EDTA to protect the fresh the flavor. Red 40, blue one, bold under the authority of PepsiCo Incorporated, purchased in New York. 10, it's on its own. Caffeine content, 91 milligrams, 20 fluid ounces. Contains zero juice. I'm really excited to try this one. It's due with a blast of berry plum. Oh boy, that berry flavor. Just my favorite. Okay. I do like uh, the bikers on the bottle. Uh, I just noticed that. I don't know why they didn't do some logic thing, but also they probably didn't want to make it look just like um, voltage. So. very light purple so those good it's like a fizzy grape kool-aid mixed with some like plum a little touch of cotton candy, too. It's not horrible. It's actually not that bad. It's in that weird category where it's like voltage is also in the same category. Where it's like this weird watered down taste. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the cup I had it in. Mm. No, so it's like, like, uh, like I did my voltage view. Go check out here. It's got like that Kool-Aid powder mix taste to it. I don't know what it is. I like it though. Um, honestly, I would definitely give this more. Um, seeing how there's actually a Casey's by where I work, so actually it works out really well. So, or not a Casey's, a, uh, there, well, there is a Casey's. There's also a Circle K. Um, good though. Really like it. Definitely a neat uh, addition. So I think the next one after this review wise, I have the Dr. Disrespect's Game Fuel. I think after that is the Casey's one and somewhere in there, there's the new Mountain Dew Energy. So uh, stay tuned for those videos and uh, check out a Mountain Dew playlist here and a um, suggested video here and the YouTube um, profile pic where you can subscribe and just scroll down a little bit or exit out of this and uh, like and comment on the video what you guys think. I'd like to hear it. So stay bearded, stay faithful. Peace. Do you really want to, do you really want to taste it?